time. I cannot with this show. All right, well, you know that Tina is a woman of many talents. She likes gardening, playing music, and she also likes tending to her bees. So it's only natural that we are celebrating World Honey Bee Day, and Tina has a lot of friends in this area, and she could probably actually do this segment on her own. But Hold she on. wants to bring in her friends. One, Hold on, two, I want to watch the bees go in the box. There like we go. That. Okay. that was a swarm catch. You're crazy. Is that your own um, outfit? bee outfit? Why, yes. Do it's I very like tailored it? to you. Well, yeah, Olivia will be talking about fall fashion, so I'm already <laughs> ahead of the game. <laughs> Sarah Faust is here from the Bee Box store. Hi. Hi, how are you? Doing great, how are you? Good. Okay, so some people drive by it because it's on, is it J Street? Yes, corner of 48th and J in East Sacramento. Okay, and you guys open when? We open about a year and a half ago now. And how's it going? It's going pretty good. It's going good. Do you yeah. actually have clientele other than the people that love bees? I mean, are they curious? Like, what is that? Yes, a lot of people come in and say that they drive by either to work, from work, school, something like yeah. that, and they've always been curious and then the first time stopping in, and they usually fall in love with it, which is awesome. Right, because some people go, why a need for a store? for honey and bee supplies. Exactly. What's the point? So the point is bringing local honey, especially during this farm fork movement in Sacramento, uh, directly to the consumer and kind of educating the consumer on real, pure, raw honey. Sarah, come here. Let's educate everybody. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about the advantages of having honey in your life. Okay, so uh, pure, raw honey is actually the most natural sugar you can have. Um, it's very full of beneficial enzymes, stuff like that. Um, it's super good for you. You can put it on cuts, you can put it on burns because it's antibacterial and it never goes bad. And we can put it in our tummy. <laughs> yes. Okay, <laughs> also well, very what, sweet. what else do you have at the store? Um, so we do also have, we have our uh, different varieties of honey. It comes from different floral sources, so they're not flavored. They just get their flavor from different florals. Depending on where the bees fly to. Exactly. Right, right. Are you guys doing this yourself with this, your own honey? Yes, so we do uh, produce all the local wildflower and all the Kauai wildflower. We do have bees on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. What? And then, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and then we do bottle and acquire um, our other rotating varieties. Okay. And then we do also have our cream honey, which we do make with our local wildflower honey. We have a oh. cinnamon infused and a bee pollen infused. We do have the bee pollen fresh. We have a couple products made with our beeswax and honey for skincare. Oh. And then we have raw beeswax and a bunch of different bee related items. Now, why do you have raw beeswax? Uh, some people make their own skincare with it, and uh, it's super moisturizing and it seals the moisture into your skin, actually. No. People, <laughs> people make candles with oh it, my gosh, people it use it for. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells amazing. Ugh. Straight from the hive. Love that. And I love the molds that you have here, too. And you have books? Ooh, yes, cool. we do. We have a couple different books in store. This one is on planning for honeybees. Um, not every flower is good for honeybees. No. Well, I started reading that when I was over there. <laughs> I'm serious. You it gives you a random book? Yeah, I picked it up and it gives you a long list of ones like if you want it to grow tall, if you want like shorter flowers, but what you should plant to help the bees. For the bees, yeah. We need the bees. Exactly. A lot of people don't realize how important the bees are. Yes, so. a lot of people don't. So uh, bees are the most efficient pollinators out there. Mm -hmm. And we uh, depended on them. Yes. They have our food. Exactly. They produce about one third of all the food that we eat. And you actually can In can't, the world. In the world, yes. <laughs> yes. Do they make Pop Tarts? Uh, they make they, the, the strawberry. Jam. Yeah, the jam. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, and the, you actually can't get an almond without a bee, so we'd have a lot less food without bees out there. Okay, yeah. thanks. The next hour, uh, they will be hanging out and show us a recipe that you can use with the honey that you buy. All right, thank you. Back Love over it. to you. Tina's the bee's knees. Hey. <laughs>